Hey guys, what's going on? I just woke up a while ago, was working till late last night and guess what? Today is a great day because yet another time I have a great view outside my cabin window and I want to share it with you guys. Check this out. We are off the coast of South Africa and when looking outside the window you'd see many of these containers stacked up right in front. Also noticeable would be the radar scanner which is turning and you can see it in the shadow. But when you look beyond all this, you'll see in the distance stands the Table Mountains. It's unmissable and it's overlooking the beautiful coastal city of Cape Town. These mountains are world famous because of their iconic table-like shape. Obviously that's where they get their names from. Even though they appear to be very flat when you're looking at it from a distance like this, when you're actually there, you'll be surprised to discover that they're not as flat as the seam. Alright, that where I'm pointing at is the port area and why I know that is because I can already see the cargo cranes. Oh and I just noticed that there's another ship here, hmm. most probably like us, they're at anchor and waiting to go into the port as well. Well, what I'm gonna do now is step out of the cabin, go to the bridge and try to get another shot at the table mountains and along with that the lion's head and the devil's peak as well. Hey guys, hello again from top of the accommodation superstructure, of course. Here we have a bird's eye view of the ship's forward cargo area. The location where I'm at right now is called the compass deck and it gets that name because most of the ship's navigation and communication equipment have the antennas located here. The radar scanners are also here. Normally they're spinning and scanning when on but they're stopped at the moment for safety reasons since I'm here and we are at anchor anyway. A while ago in the shadow you would have seen them turning and spinning and stuff like that. Alright, so those are the Table Mountains and that's the ship which was also visible from the cabin window. It's a great feeling being here because it's such a clear weather day and it's not every day you wake up with the Table Mountains right in front of you anyway. There is something else which I noticed now which wasn't visible from the cabin window and that's uh, the small island over the ship's starboard side. The island is called the Robin Island and it's the place where the former president of South Africa, Mr. Nelson Mandela, spent 18 years in prison. The facility has been converted into a museum and boats like that small one over there are shuttling between the Cape Town Harbour front and the Robert Island for people who want to visit. The distance between these islands seem like maybe around 5 to 7 nautical miles and these small boats are quite fast so travel time shouldn't be a lot but then again there are only 3 such trips available each day and the gate for boarding these ferries shuts 15 minutes before departure time. So plan smart and uh, try to avoid any last minute panic by trying to be there early. Typical recommended visit duration to the Robin Island is around 4 hours as per trip advisor. And, and hey, you know what? I have an idea. Let me get the Binox. Alright, this is definitely a better view. Now we can see the city a bit clearer and closer. Right there is the lion's head. I've been told that this is a hot favorite for the trekkers and the hikers and also for the weekend picnic goers. One can also see a glimpse of the famous 12 apostles. The football stadium can't be missed. Indeed it looks very flat but trust me it's not. With the lion's head on one side and the devil's peak on the other, the table mountains are surely a photographer's paradise. Those are the cargo cranes I was talking about a bit earlier. Now what happened next was an absolute bonus. As if the stunning view of the surroundings was it enough, a seal came by to say hello while he was enjoying his warm afternoon swim. He stuck around for a bit showcasing his skill before saying an abrupt bye. Anyways, maybe he was a bit camera shy. Moving on, on a clear weather day like today, visiting the top of the Table Mountain should be at top of anyone's list. Time permitting, one could always hike their way up using one of these many clearly marked trails, but I'm gonna use the cable car to make it a bit faster so I have more time up there. It's around 300 rands for a round trip and you can buy tickets on the spot or online. Online is a bit smarter because you don't have to waste time in the queue which can sometimes be as long as 20 minutes. Alright guys, this was something about the Stunning Tail Mountains. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Hey there, 
Thank you so much for watching. In case you like the video, please do subscribe. Also, if there's a comment or any feedback or a question that you have about the video, please do post below. Thank you.